Hi, so today's topic is the most common mistakes in CCTV installation. My name is Urshad KM and welcome to our channel IPCS Global. So the first and common mistakes that we used to do in CCTV installation is camera selection okay so what are the topics that is coming under camera selection so camera selection means choosing the right camera that is uh, as required by the customer so in the camera selection itself we have different uh, because the camera selection itself is a big topic so um, I will minimize it and say uh, in seconds okay so the first one is so resolution so resolution what is a resolution resolution is nothing but the clarity okay so it's all about clarity and uh, I will, uh, you know you can say it uh, one megapixel <coughs> or two megapixel so <coughs> You need not see like 1 megapixel or 2 megapixel, but instead you could see like 720p and 1080p. So both are one and the same. Okay, so it's all about the clarity. Now, and the next thing coming under the camera selection is so B, it's infrared distance. So without choosing the right infrared distance, you might not see that uh, night vision properly okay so infrared uh, distance as it is distance you could see like 20 meter or 40 meter 30 meter likewise so this shows the night distance okay because uh, the IR itself means infrared which is actually used to see the distance that we can obtain during the night okay so that's all about the infrared distance and if you are choosing you know a big area a larger area you need to you need to cover a larger area then you need to go for a 40 or 50 meter infrared distance so there are cam cameras coming in different ranges so that's the uh, reason okay so third one is focal length okay so focal length means uh, you know, you could see like 2.8 mm, 3.6 mm. Okay, likewise, you can see a different uh, in millimeters. So, focal length will be represented as millimeters. Okay, so if you are choosing a low focal length camera, then the angle will be higher. And if you are, if you need uh, to focus the distant object, then you need to go for higher focal length like uh, 12 mm okay 12 mm is one of the uh, bigger focal length also these focal lengths depend upon the lens and the ccd or the cmos sensor also okay or you could also choose a very focal camera okay i mean a very focal uh, what, what do you mean by very focal see very focal means uh, there will be a range of focal length for example 2.8 mm to 12 mm so you could you know you could choose wisely like you know uh, if you need a, a larger angle then you could uh, you know <coughs> uh, uh, put into the 2.8 mm uh, and get the maximum angle and if you need much uh, a focused image then you can uh, put in the 12 mm so this uh, as the name indicates it's you know the focal length can be varied so that's all about the focal length and the and the, the the d okay the other options that is also coming under the camera selection is uh, fps fps is nothing but the frame per second so video itself is so there is nothing called video it's all frames per second so uh, you know uh, uh, many number of pictures combined together and form a video so it's like you know you could get different formats of videos like you know you could get a 20 fps 
or a 15 fps so what uh, what makes the difference is that uh, if you choose a uh, small fps cameras you won't get a uh, you know a smooth video when i say smooth video uh, this happens only if the object is moving uh, in high speed okay so if you are trying to focus a camera uh, through uh, to a road to a particular road then you need to uh, choose at least 25 fps cameras so that each and every uh, you know uh, motion can be recorded clearly so that's all about the focal length and the, and the last one that is coming under the uh, camera selection is ip rating so ip rating means it's not internet protocol but it's uh, ingress protection okay ingress protection is nothing but uh, a rating that uh, that shows us whether a camera is waterproof or you know we could uh, place it in outside or you know it will withstand the humidity and uh, small rains and all so the, the main point that you need to remember is that the minimum IP rating that we need to uh, select for an outdoor camera that is a bullet camera is IP 65 so here 6 stands for the solids and 5 stands for the liquids and uh, it's a it's a b bigger topic but still uh, the minimum rating is IP 65 for the time being okay so it's all about the uh, build quality okay so that's it so how many I, I mean uh, whether uh, uh, a dust particle will enter into the the PCB board or not so that's the ingress protection so these are the topics that is coming under the camera selection so you need to choose it wisely before uh, installing a camera I mean a CCTV camera okay and the second thing that you need to choose is the technology okay so technology selection so this is uh, this is very important you know why because uh, see I mean I mean to this uh, CCTV and security system industry for around seven years roughly seven years and I came to across uh, I come to experience a different sort of uh, site experience like people used to uh, you know lay the cables wrongly so when I say uh, in technology see we know that there are two types of technologies first one is IP and second one is analog or AHD okay so if you are uh, you see you need to choose it because the client need to choose it whether you are selecting an IP technology or on an analog technology so if you are choosing an IP technology then you need to go with CAT6 or network cable or CAT5 is also more than enough but uh, for the time being I am I'm writing simply as CAT6 and if you are choosing an analog CCTV system then you need to go with RG59 3 plus 1 or something called coax cable okay and this this is called network cable okay so I, I, I come across different sites like you know people used to mistakenly they used to lay IP I mean uh, CAT6 cables but they are trying to install only analog CCTV but the solution is possible but you know this is, that, that is that can be uh, uh, solved by using uh, balloon connector okay so it, it's, it's possible but still it's a wastage of money okay so balloon connectors are you know something like RJ45 to BNC connector okay so it's possible but still uh, it's an excess uh, wastage of money so that's all about the technology selection and the, and the third one and the third one is insulation okay so proper insulation of connectors so when I say insulation see uh, I already mentioned that you know IP rating is there to protect the camera but still you know 
The CCTV system is not just a camera, it's you know a combination of different components. And these components are all you know networked together by means of cables, and that cables need to be terminated properly, and that termination should be there for the for, uh, for many years okay that need to be there and in, in order to survive it we need to use proper insulation okay so insulation is nothing but you know uh, covering the connectors by some sort of insulation so at least you know insulation uh, uh, what do we call this uh, by using proper insulation yeah that's it you know some insulation tapes are there okay you could uh, use it and use it. You, you can cover it and uh, During a project we must uh, you know make sure that each and every uh, Connectors when I say connectors if it is analog cables then the analog technology then the BNC all the BNC uh, Connectors need to be uh, properly insulated and all the DC pins need to be terminated I mean insulated and also RJ45 if you are using an uh, IP then this, this needs to be insulated okay so these are the common errors that uh, is being taken in the CCTV installation okay and the fourth one is choosing the right height okay choosing of height so where we need to mount this camera that's a question mark okay so the proper answer to this question is you need to uh, fix a camera that is not too high not too low so roughly you can uh, i will say uh, a distance of two meters okay so two to oh, five meters maximum so this i mean sorry three to five meters so three meters will be more than enough you know if you mount a camera too high then you know you can't see the faces but instead you could see you know the the top view that is the your heads so we won't uh, you know get any sort of message from by viewing uh, different people's head so that's uh, not need necessary but still you could uh, use a three meter so three meter is a you know best height you know to get the face properly and if you choose too much uh, if, uh, if the height is too much low then also there is there are problems like you know uh, like vandal uh, you know risks are there okay so these are these are the topics that are coming under the mistakes of CCTV and the last one okay but not least but this is the most common error proper design okay designing is very important so without a proper design nothing is possible so in the same way uh, uh, there are some sort of uh, uh, errors that come across the design so I will explain what is exactly a design okay so roughly suppose so this is a plot okay this is a two-dimensional plot just assume it and we need to place the cameras okay so where we need to place this camera so suppose we are mounting a camera like this okay this is not a fruitful uh, design you know why because this this will be the coverage coverage area I mean uh, uh, roughly 90 meter I mean 90 degree or you know maximum 110 degree will be the angle so if you are uh, you know mounting a camera like this then what happens see if someone under <coughs> from here we can't you know monitor this guy because this area comes under blind spot which is not you know Yeah, this should not be happened. Okay, so when I say design, design means minimum number of cameras with maximum output. Like, you know, if you are planning, you could choose like this. If you are planning a camera, I mean installing a camera, mounting a camera here, then you need to choose it, the next one over here. 
and the next one over here and the next one like this and finally like this see this is the, uh, something called a design you know why because you know this will be the area that, that can be covered by this camera one and this could be the camera, I mean the area that could be covered by the camera 2. And this will be the area, you know, likewise. All the areas will be covered, that too without blind spot. So, you know, design without blind, blind spot, okay. So blind spot is the area that is being not, not being covered by CCTV cameras. So, you know, this is very important. So these are all about uh, the top uh, five mistakes, you know, in CCTV installation. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any doubts regarding the topics that I have just mentioned, please do comment. Okay. And if you haven't subscribed our channel, please do subscribe. Okay. Bye-bye.